Hang on, go, 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 get that. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Hang on, ready? Ow. Right, big cheers. Over, sorry. Big, big cheers. Big cheers. Big big cheers. cheers. Uh, grab yourself a bowl, sit yourself down, get that fork, uh, get that fork, and stuff it full of flavour. You listen to Fork Full of Flavour podcast. <laughs> we were going to get Danny Dyer to do that intro. I think we want to cameo, yeah. him, don't we? Uh, we've got a cameo. If you know That's Danny Dyer pitch. personally, let us know. <laughs> um, so we are in the, ca- the capital. The capital. Landon, Landon Town. Landon, sweet. Yeah. Um, and we're, just, we're on tour. And four Full of Flavour's yeah, always on we've tour. Been, we've took it to the road. Um, and we've just been to Frankie and Benny's in Wembley. Wembley, Frankie and Benny's Wembley. Frankie and um, Benny's Wembley. Um, I think we should all kick I off. think it was a kind of a, it was kind of a late decision. We weren't sure what we were going to eat. Well, there was we never went choices. there planning. There was multiple choices. And then there was one that was you who was just like, you know what? Frankie Benny's well, is there. Everyone likes food, especially from Frankie and Benny's. We haven't introduced ourselves. Tom uh, introduced my name's Tom. Me. My name's Perkins. And my name is Peter in the back. Peter in the back. As we said wow. last we established last we're, episode, there's a cannon. We're going to carry that one. We've got a cannon. Okay, we're going to draw that one out for a few more episodes <laughs> until it gets <laughs> until boring. Get Just like Peter in the back. Every other thing. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, Frankie Benny's Wembley. I'm going to start with Perkins. Um, we didn't we didn't go for a starter controversially. Didn't think we did that at TGI's either. No, we didn't. Do no. That no. Oh, well, one of the things we actually went, went in planning. So we'll get a starter. Yeah. Thinking that garlic bread would be on the list, well, but it wasn't, was it? Well, you'd like to think an Ita- like an American Italian restaurant would have garlic bread as an option, and it didn't. It had an, as an option for a side in the pasta. We'll but get on to that. But in terms outrageous. of the main of the main starter, though. I can't remember what there was. There was mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks. There was like some weird tomato stick yeah. thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe well. soup. So there was calamari. There was about six, but none of them garlic bread. Which Pure I, garlic bread. Even for like even British pubs have garlic bread. I think mm. that's more of a British. We thing, dabbled in the idea of getting mozzarella sticks. If you think we should have mozzarella sticks, <laughs> it was too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too late. Too late for your input. Sorry, um, but yeah. Um, what, what would you say before we begin on the food? The ambiance. Ambiance it was very busy. It was a very busy it was, one. It was, well, when we when we got in there, it wasn't too bad. No, but yeah, yeah, so start, there was I a say, queue. I'll, as I'll we say it was about half full, but then I, I seem to remember. Right. I think just before we were going to leave, there was a queue going outside. <laughs> yeah. They definitely expected a big crowd because there was a lot of staff. I noticed yeah. there was yes, a good like was. ten waitresses so, and waiters. I'd, I'd like to kick things off and say at the table we were sat. At, I liked it a lot. Mm-hmm. It felt quite private. Which I yeah, like, so we had like a sort of booth off. in the corner. Didn't it was like booth. a half booth, it was, wasn't it? It was yeah. a booth there, but yeah. I was sitting on the other side, which I like a chair. Any any sort of restaurant that offers a booth option is automatic. There wasn't just uh, there wasn't just obviously the odd couple. There was there was a fair few. It was all around the outside of booths, weren't it? Yeah, it was a fairly big establishment. It's not, oh, you know, well, it's a Frankie and Benny's. It's it's a worldwide, worldwide UK. Is it worldwide? Do you have Frankie in your country? Let's know. I think if a Frankie and Benny's was in Italy, it would just be shut down. No, I think it is. A, I think it is a very fake Italian place. Yeah, oh, it's like <laughs> American, I'm, I'm, Italian. I'm an American. Yeah. yeah. Hey, my name is Joey. Frankie and Benny's. Hey, know? I'm gonna go to Frankie and Benny's. <sighs> So Jack points out a nice fact about the booth seats. It was had a nice view of the open window kitchen. I, I feel like I don't particularly see them. I was just I remember walking past and going, "That's quite cool. You can see that yeah. there." Um, it's, it's fairly common. I went, I, I, I've I've it's been really to loads of restaurants. You can see the chefs at work. TGI Fridays didn't TGI have. Friday, it's not this kind of. It's, I think a lot of Italian restaurants have a lot of open kitchens, like pizza ovens. You've got to get that fucker open. I'm going to uh, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> kick off. Flick it, I'm going to flick it around, Peter. Your meal. Well, I was I was actually going to flick it to Tom and say, speaking of pizza, not from Pizza Express. Well, yeah, the I had a pepperoni pizza, and it was kind of disappointing. I'm not going to lie, I was underwhelmed. It was it was quite small. The flavours were nice, but I, I could have made it. It was a thin crust, wasn't thin it? Crust. I, yeah. I, I'm normally a pan kind of guy. Well, I, I, I don't mind actually. I'm not, I, don't I, do think, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know about the taste, but yeah, I will, I will agree. Yours yeah. didn't look. I remember you finishing yours, and I, I was still. A good I don't think I haven't touched mine yet, really. Yeah. But it, I, I'm quite a quick eater. Yeah, Tom yeah. had finished his pizza whilst we were about halfway through. Barely, I'd say. I, I don't think I was even halfway through. Yeah. I am a quick eater, but it was. I, I'd say still, I'm still quite a. Um, as as I can attest, the Frankie and Benny's in Kettering is a lot bigger piece of. Far portions. away from Wembley. It is far away from Wembley, <laughs> but the pizza we're not on tour. We're not on tour there at the moment, are we? Well, uh, one day we'll go to Frankie and Benny's in Kettering, but we've already been to a Frankie and Benny's. So no, no, we need to go to. Uh, I don't know how the rules work, but. 
What? We're going to go to another one. Fra- no, no, like another. This not, is not, not, not another Frankie and Benny's podcast. <laughs> not another Frankie and Benny's, another restaurant <laughs> elsewhere. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, but yeah, the pizza underwhelming, but what about you, Perkins? I had a uh, carbonara. Spaghetti carbonara. Uh, I think I think it was lovely. A liver enough. I think, I, I think presentation was. Presentation, lovely. Um, it's what I expect from a carbonara. Um, tasted really nice. Yeah. I think it was a really good meal. Portion was perfect as well. Ah, oh, fuck. Can I just go back to this pizza? Yes, <laughs> sorry. Fine. Sorry, it's pissed me off again. Um, well, it's, it, no, it's the one thing it's done right. You know when you get a pizza and it's not cut? Or was it? They couldn't be asked to cut it. This one was cut. And this was... I will mark them up for that. Okay. You go to, like, fucking pizza or prezzo or something. They don't cut the bastard pizza. They don't I, cut I, the I, I, would think, pizza. I would think that's a, uh, that's a, almost like a, a standard thing to do, is to cut your pizza. Exactly. You know what? I think, speaking of the Frankie Benny's in, in Kettering, I think when I went there years ago and had a pizza, mm. I don't think it was cut. I don't think it was cut either. Normally, if I know they're not going to cut the pizza, I'll go for a calzone. Which, I mean, you cut anyway. I've seen you have a calzone before. I love a calzone. Yes, I remember seeing you. It was uh, ZZ's in... Yep. That place. Great Yarmouth. Great Yarmouth, yeah. Lower yeah. stuff, yeah. Somewhere Nor- Norwich. 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 And we're getting way off topic. stuff, Norwich. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Peter. Peter in the back. Peter in the back. What did you ask? Sitting on a bed. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> in a hotel. In a hotel. That's a piece mm. of shit. <laughs> yeah, no. We'll talk about that at the end. Oh, no. Um... I had a chicken barbecue burger with As some always, chips. You normally have, you I normally usually have burger. burgers. Oh, burger. burger. Yeah. Yeah. I usually, um, but chicken is not usually my forte Bread when it comes to burger. Well. Bre- very bre- I mean, you rarely see just chicken in a burger. If I'm Can right. I say though, yeah. the breaded, yeah. oof, really went to his advantage. I've never, I don't think I've ever had a crispy chicken inside of a burger before. I don't know. It was I, very crispy. Like it, I don't like it to be too crispy. No, actually, no, not too crispy, but it was I agree. like I very. There was like definitely a smooth bite and crunch on the inside. Was it, it's very I good. think what you get a lot off of with chicken burgers is you bite into it and it's just molten lava. It's so mm. hot. Did mm. you, this was, one was did fine, I'd say. This one was fine. Um, that's, good. that's good. That's rare. That's yeah. Good. And I had, so I had added bacon with it. Um, I thought there was going to be added bacon. salad with it, but it actually came on the side. We'll, well, talk well, about well, that well, in a second. Well, I, I think we should move on to that now. Okay. Because uh, it was linked with mine. Because it kind of, it kind well, of felt we, like we a all, start. No, we ordered it as... Obviously, ordered the carbonara, then he asked if we wanted salad yeah. with it. I said yes, and so did Peter. And I'm not gonna lie, as salads goes, really nice. I just think there was too <laughs> there was much. a lot of it. Yeah. There was a lot of it there. It was just like that's almost. I it was, was almost a, It was almost a starter. Yeah. I think what happened was that the waiter upsold. Yes. Both no, the waiter though. Okay, it was a guy. Slightly, the Sorry, waiter was, but... a, was was kind of a geezer. I like the waiter. Uh, yeah. yeah, but he, he completely took advantage. He, yeah, no, he no, milked he, you he... for every penny you were worth. Well, no, 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 because like, salad. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was just asking for extra salad. Do you want extra salad in the burger? And so I was like, oh, that's probably a free extra. No, so no, I thought I thought it would cost, but I wanted. I normally have chicken in my carbonaras and. I wanted lettuce mm. as well. I'm mm. saving uh, face. The bacon was an extra pound, which is I, I think went, went to his advantage. Um, you could definitely Great. tell the barbecue was actually a really good barbecue sauce, I'd say. Like, there's some... Smoky? There are definitely... Yes, I think so. There were definitely some... Okay. I've, I've definitely had some shit barbecue sauces. Oh, um, like, that. watery, kind of, like, too sweet. Mm. You want a good thick mm. This barbecue This was sauce. a good barbecue sauce. I like the barbecue sauces... Oh, sorry to interrupt, but barbecue mm. sauces that come as a side... With a burger, so that when you've finished your burger, you can dip the remnants in mm, the pot. Agreed. And then, oh man. I'm not sure amazing. I agree. Because okay. usually those those sorts of pot barbecue sauces are a bit too sweet. I a bit too a sweet, watery. A sweet burger. Not a thick, a sweet. Ignore that. Not sure, you, not sure if you can hear that, but. <laughs> it's the police. Is it the police or is it the ambulance? No, it's no, so he's not going to sell ice cream at that time, are <laughs> Um, I think that. Brings us on to well, well before the dessert. I was going to say before. I'm not sorry, my burger. Yet. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Burger. burger, sorry. Really nice crunch. Definitely could taste the barbecue, and that would work to its advantage. The chicken was quite thick. You, know, you usually sometimes you get a bit of a sort of like a thin cartilagey chicken. Sometimes it can. Sometimes okay. it's not very good. It's yep. but this was a very good chicken, and there was a really kind of like weird sort of sweet aftertaste. I'm not sure if that was the onions or something like something with that like honey with the chicken. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. But it was it was very it worked very well to its advantage. Okay. okay. I hear what you saying. One thing I think we, we missed out though is mm. drinks. Well, drinks. I did, uh, in summary, my carbonara I, I think was very nice and I, mm. I don't think I really have fault the, the carbonara. I think it was I think I've said fun. all I need to say on pizza. Uh, um, drinks so 
we had, I think we all had ciders. Mm -hmm. Didn't have a, uh, didn't have a cocktail. I don't think we were think, feeling no, that. No, we, we looked at cocktails, but um, quite, quite a bit expensive. expensive yeah. Um, but they came. The glasses were like pint. They were huge. <laughs> I want to say they were pint yeah, glasses, but pint. they were like two pint glasses. Yeah. It were. was like a milk jug. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> huge glasses. I wasn't expecting, but it was very nice. Very I had nice. a aspol drought cider. That was, it was it was quite refreshing. Yeah. I'd say. it was very nice. And uh, uh, me and Perkins had a. Um, Recorder League. Yes. Uh, that, is, that asked if, is that how you pronounce I that? Think it's Recorder League. <laughs> we'll go to your go to your local Tesco's and I think it's only sold at Tesco. Anyway. Um yeah, Recorder League and he he asked if he wanted ice in it and we both said yes. Said yes. Uh, which what we didn't realise is was it was basically a glacier. I thought I thought it would be is it would be, it is, it it would be maybe ice. just like four ice cubes. <laughs> yeah. But it was just um, what it was like. Nando's. It was like the mixed ice. It was. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 don't, I don't know about you. Um, every time I took a drink, took a sip, I'd always get a bit of ice. Well, the first initial pour that he did, we we had no involvement in the first pour. He did. Yeah. Again, was going, an back, alpha going back to the service, he um, poured our drinks for us. <laughs> yeah. No. We'll, we'll talk about more about the waiter at the end. As if Frankie and Benny was watching it himself. <laughs> we'll talk more about the waiter at the end because we have got some good Here review right. pen. Um, yeah. I, I noticed your um, recorder league. It, it, you can definitely tell it was real strawberry because it was very, it very well, tastes very. I don't, want to, I don't want to burst your bubble. There, there was, was actually there was a strawberry. strawberry, but that shouldn't affect your flavour that much. It's a it's a fair bit. A fair bit. Yeah, it made it a lot sweeter. Than but the, yeah. there's a clear difference nice, between artificial really. strawberry and real yeah. strawberry, and that was definitely. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Again, there was a real strawberry in it. <laughs> yeah, I went <laughs> iced the stuff. So it tastes like real strawberry. Yes, because there is a real strawberry. I think after the after I after it. There was mainly just a big bit of ice in the middle that mm. wasn't melting. Mm. I think they just went and put a big bit in. Mm. Um, but once that melted, it, it was tolerable. It was nice. But then it was really nice towards the end. I think it was lovely. I think it was, it was a very decent side. They good pint Refresh. glasses. Well, I, 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 so they weren't even pint glasses. They were probably two pint glasses. As we said last episode <laughs> about the skull glass at TGA Fridays, wood steel, wouldn't steel. Wood steel. Absolutely wood steel. I'm not sure they weren't. They weren't interesting enough. It wasn't a skull. It was no. The size of them. They were was good. They were good, but it was no yeah, skull. Yeah, it's like the Sports Direct mugs you have. They're massive. You're never going to use them. Oh, but yeah. Every household has them. It was absolutely the Sports Direct of glasses, <laughs> <laughs> which I never thought I'd say. Yeah, but I um, it's no skull glass, I'd say. So not don't steal, right. not steal. But you, but we did. To clarify, we didn't. Yeah, no, we, we <laughs> stole nothing. Nor did we do a T-shirt. Oh, we paid. Yeah. Um, day to day drinking. You don't want to drink from a skull, mate. Drink from a glass. We order it for a skull all the time. What do you think I am? <laughs> Some sort of skullless oh, drinker. God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that brings us swiftly. Well, before we get to dessert, I want to mention the toilets. We all went to the toilets. Um, I think, I think we, should, uh, no, no, we should let Peter quote on what's happened. <laughs> uh, I almost want to say the chips were very nice as well. There were no. Okay. I'd say Tisha and Friday's chips were better though. Skin on? No. Exterior? No. Okay, so, it wasn't, wasn't so yeah, no. It, it, I'd say not as good as Tisha Friday's chips, but that's, that's okay. I'd still say the burger. Outsold TJ Fridays, definitely. Okay, so anyway, toilets. Moving, moving on to toilets, I think we should start off with a quote. Peter went to the toilet first. We should start off with a quote you said as you came back. As I came back, I said, <laughs> it's like a portal in there. Which and then um, later on in the night, I went, and then Tom went a bit after me, and we all came back with the same, the same conclusion. It was like, there was, there was a lot of... Yeah, there was a, it was a very checkered very room and checkered floor yeah, as well. But it was completely different to what was... In the restaurant and in the hallway yeah. going up to it. The hallway going up to it had lots of like uh I think it was like old Italian singers, it was, like, it was yeah. quite a distance. The table to the to for no better word, for lack of a better word, a shitter. Um it was quite a distance, I thought. Mm. A lot of stairs. About two flights of stairs at two flights. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, if you're stumbling, it's like it's like our it local uh, local pub. There's stairs up to the toilets, and we've been stumbling in that pub plenty of times, and it has it's been. Sort of how, often, how often do you uh, get drunk at a restaurant? Though? That's the. Well, yeah, you know, Spoons is, is a, a pub, really. But You're not supposed to get drunk at a restaurant. Yeah, mm. so I, I don't think it's frowned upon. Frowned upon. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it was, it was chicken it was floors, right. chicken floor. I can report the uh, hand dryer was an outie. Oh. As in, the, you don't put your hands in it to dry, it is an outie. Oh, wow. I, I still stand by it. I like one you put your hands in. No. I, think they, I think they dry your hands more. I don't think nothing outie. gets it fully dry, but the innies, I think... Uh, outie, you just, it felt a bit like... Uh, it, was a good, it was a good blower, I thought. But you do get outers... <laughs> had a good motor on it. Yeah, it had a good motor on it. But the outers, I think outies. you tend to find <laughs> that they have more asthmatic tendencies than inners. <laughs> What, you talking about eat? Brexit. <laughs> no, 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 it was just like, 
it just feels like a poor little asthmatic child. Yeah. It does feel a bit old fashioned, as you say, but I, sometimes old fashioned is good. But, the, but you get the ones where you put your hands in, and it's like it's like an experience. It's amazing. Put your hands in, it's like an experience. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. It's like an experience. All right, moving on. Yeah. What's the waiter that? was no, no, sorry. The waiter was very. I'd say he was a very decent guy. He 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 was just yeah. he, there was a lot of charisma to him. He also, I think you point out, he, he knew the menu off by heart. He knew the menu like, very well. He didn't yes. have it, and he was like, oh, well, I think well, I was like, only... I'll have carbonara. He was like, oh, do you want this, with this, this, this? When there's only three desserts. Yeah, no, there were only three face. desserts. I mean, we're going to have one each, but then one of them was available. Which is fine. We want <laughs> desserts. I mean, that, that's, that's fine, though. Some restaurants run out of stuff. The, men, the menu was very small, but as Gordon Ramsay says, it's better to have a smaller um, menu because then your uh, chefs specialise in things. Yes, I agree. More, yeah. And can I say that so far, my Frankie and Benny's experience, the best part was for toilet. And the drinks. Well, I really liked this burger. I was very pleased with that. I, burger. Your burger and your carbonara was very nice. And the, the pepperoni was all right. Mm. But I could have made it. That's what... But I could have made the carbonara. I don't know. It wouldn't have been the same. But this pepperoni pizza, I've, I could have made that. Hands down. Easy. Mm. Maybe pizza. we should do a... Uh... Ooh. Port full of flavor at the Muns. We should do a home. Uh, I've got we should a, do a home cooking. Uh, Absolutely. Port full of flavor. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, uh, like, come dine with me. <laughs> Thousand pound. Thousand pound. I wish I had it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wish I had it. <laughs> That's why you should watch this and then share it with everyone yeah, else. No, yeah, you should donate to. Insert the just flavor. giving page. No, <laughs> no. The, uh, give me a coffee. <laughs> Buy me a coffee. That's the page you should post. I have one of them for my animation things. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Anyway, um, we were desserts. Dessert. So um, I, I was. This is the turning point for me. This was fantastic. You had a, it was, like a, oh, it it was, was cool. a an Antarctic roll. Mm. It was almost like a Swiss oh. roll, weren't it? Almost. It was like it had a spot like a cake exterior. But the middle was like a mousse that was frozen. <laughs> oh, mate. That's salted caramel sauce on the bottom. Just the bottom. Oh, it was amazing. And it took me back to kind of... I felt like the, the guy from Ratatouille. When he had the Ratatouille, I was like, <gasps> my childhood. Because in Prezzo, they used to do a hazelnut bomb. And it was like this, but it was... But it actually grew a up. Hazelnut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just lethal. <laughs> it had a hazelnut on the outside and then like a really hard frozen interior. Oh, right. And But they stopped doing it. And I uh, fuck, fuck Prezzo since and then. And your life hasn't been the same since. <laughs> no. <laughs> and this is like, it kind of reminded me of my, of my childhood a little bit. It was nice. I liked it a lot. And it, it's probably you want to it saved to... Frankie and Benny's a lot. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying, Prezzo, what the fuck are you thinking? Bring back the hazelnut bomb. It was saving your Mate, menu. Save it for when we go there and review it. I've been to Prezzo a few times and it's meagre compared to what it was. Anyway, but, um, um, you were going to have the uh, Toblerone so cheesecake. To- there was a Toblerone cheese uh, cheesecake which I was going to have. Uh, that was the thing that wasn't in stock. I'm fine with that, to be honest. Sounded um, nice, though. It happens. Mm. It sounded nice. Mm. It did um, sound nice. When there are only three uh, desserts on the menu, which again, it's fine. Um, They're going to run out. We, 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 we were going to have one each so we could review it properly. Review but yeah. fortunately there was no Toblerone so cheesecake. So I had... A, I guess it was a cheesecake, a New York style cheesecake with yeah. salted caramel. Mm. So, did. so did I had the same one. It was um, very good. It was actually very good. Uh, I say very good size. Very sweet. It looked big. Very sweet. It's that's, it's that's a cheesecake. Had a little dollop of ice cream on the side. It was yes. great. Had some more uh, salted caramel sauce on the top. Um, wow. I'm a cheesecake lover, but I feel like I must interject. Ice cream and cheesecake. I don't know. It, well, it wasn't it was together. Really it was, it side was by on side. side. I, don't know. I don't like it. Side by side, fine. I feel like the cheesecake's enough. You just don't need it. I think I, I was, I it, was only, that, it was only one scoop. It was yes. too much. Yeah, it was compliment. One, one, one was a ball. Yeah. I think I've got nothing against it. I like a cheesecake as much as I the think next it time. was. Uh, I think it was fine. Other options were fine. strawberry sauce and some of these cheesecake, which does also work. But you didn't have it. But we didn't yeah. have it. And there was also <laughs> also um, honeycomb. Okay. There was a bit of honeycomb on it. Kind of like a. When I tried it, I, I, I thought it back to like a crunchy bar. <laughs> thought back to your childhood. <laughs> I've eaten wow. crunchy bars. Like ratatouille all over again. <laughs> it took me back to last night a cheesecake, which was not... I was like, I don't think I have a cheesecake for very long. <laughs> yeah, no, right. no, 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 no. You don't know, it's not something you'd make or buy, really, at home. It's I something... think the last time I had one was a homemade one. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Homemade Fuck cheesecake. <laughs> homemade cheesecake. No, I didn't make it. Oh, well, <laughs> right, okay, okay. That, that shuts um, up. Review food. We don't make food. <laughs> so... I say everything is at all aspects of the well, restaurant. St- table sticky test, not too sticky. <laughs> I didn't realise that was a test. Um, we were doing. That's about it. Um, I'm trying to think of other. 
Okay, Chris. I, think, I suppose the last thing right. is to review it, rate it. Well, yeah, let's give it a rate. rate. It. Overall, uh, I can't remember what the TGO Fridays rating is, but that's fine. It's a, we'll put in the TGO ratings on the screen now. To podcast. And never mind, we won't put the TGO. We'll put the TGO. <laughs> imagine what. Imagine what. Just imagine the TGO Fridays. Where do you, can, imagine well, you, Fridays. Go back Where to that you think TGO Fridays ranks? That's probably what we like to Even better. Why? You can add it in later. Well, why not? You no. can. Listeners, you can go back to listen to our podcast on TGO Fridays and you can let us know. Uh, Fault for flavor on YouTube. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it, it was really struggling before the dessert, but dessert really lifted it and the drink really lifted it and the, the bathroom, I guess. <laughs> I, I, and the service? Is that a. I, I, don't think the service well. was, I don't think the service was notably brilliant. Okay, but so then compared to. Um, you got to rank it as well. I, I, I suppose mm. another thing we should say food, food came very quick. Yes. Oh, the food. But sometimes was that's rapid. not a good sign. It was. I, I'd, I'd border on worryingly quick. Yeah. But it didn't taste weird. It tasted good. Yeah, but it came Compared worryingly to like quick. Fridays, we were waiting quite a bit for someone to come and give um, us the bill. Start their shift. <laughs> yeah, start their shift. Um, yeah, no. Sometimes it's worrying, but I don't think in this case that's mm. uh, we should worry. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Um, I'm going to give um, Frankie and Benny's in where are we? Wimbledon. 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 Wembley. Uh, Wembley. Not Wimbledon. Not Wimbledon. Um, I'm going to give it a seven. I'm going to give it a seven. Seven in the back. I think. I'm going to give um, Frankie and Benny's, Franklin and Benjamin's. I think we're going to give that a 8 out of 10. Hey, that's a, I'd say that's high. I, uh, I think I'm going to have to say, probably agree with Peter, I'd mm. say it's anywhere from about 8 to 8.5. Really? I think my, it's, it, I mean, you had a pizza, but in, in terms of my whole experience with the carbonara, I think everything was perfect about it. And there were some things, yeah. again, I think we will discuss, there's no such thing as a perfect 10. I'd say that's a top tier burger, though. It's just maybe other things cost down just a little tiny nice. bit. That's a bold claim. Top tier burger. It, it was a quite a that's top tier burger. quite a bit. There's, there's, a big claim. A few, there's few burgers in my life that sort of uh, had just have got me. That really? hit me right here, man. <laughs> hit me right here. Wow. Do you want to go back? Back to your Play childhood. Your childhood. <laughs> so, what I, before, uh, before we do that, I will, going back to what Peter said, I think I went to Italy a few years ago, and I think it kind of ruined pizzas for me because they were so good. But then I, I feel like I feel like I'm judging everything based off of Italy pizzas. You're never gonna find. So maybe I'm harsh. Go to America. go to America and ask for ask for chips. I'm gonna get a packet of crisps. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think that's that sums up our feelings pretty well. Go to yeah. go to Wembley. Go to Frankie go to Wembley Benny's. at the Frankie Benny's. We recommend it. I'd say that's a I'd high say, ranking. I'd, a, say, I'd say it's recommendable. I'd say it's a safe, indecisive option. Mm. Agreed. I think it's a it's safe, a very option. safe it's restaurant. It's a very, it's a very, it's a safe restaurant, but it's a very, it's a good restaurant with the experience we had. It was yeah. a good atmosphere. It was, you know, good company. Much better than the good hotel. drinks. Much better than the, oh, the hotel. Uh, that's a whole. Oh yeah. So let's not on the end. We're currently <laughs> in a hotel room recording this episode, and it's. Downstairs we saw it was ranked three stars, which I think is not too bad. If you're going to go any higher than that, you're going to be paying way too much. So I think this is... I will point out, for the, for the purposes, purely, we need somewhere to stay. Yeah, yeah. And it's I think <laughs> we need to sum up this the hotel room. Of, we have a TV here, about 15 inches, I'd I say. I'd say it's only slightly bigger than 20. A3? I'd say A3, A3 paper. Three. I'd say it's A3 <laughs> paper. Almost the length of my... You can't just say A3 and get away with it. Well, you can go to Curry's and say, well, I want an A3, P- <laughs> A3 TV, please, mate. That's ridiculous. Yeah, whatever. Um, oh. we, wanted to play, we wanted to play the just released today Pokemon <laughs> Diamonds and Pokemon Pearl. It's three iPhone XRs long. <laughs> On, wow, on, on this new that's TV, cool. because um, then when we got here we thought, oh that's a bit small, whatever. Then we looked on the back and we saw there's no HDMI cable, no, so we can't play Pokemon on, on the TV, <laughs> we'd have to play it on the small screen. The uh, quality of the display is also not brilliant. Mm. Well, you know. Mm. It's very, uh... let's just say if this was four, four people in a bed, four in a bed, it would be shafted. We, would, we, have three three singles. Singles. we have three singles. Three we singles. have three singles. Three single beds. All right, so be. that's the full for the flavour. If you have any suggestions for where we should eat next, or we'll any, probably ignore them. We'll okay. probably ignore. <laughs> and what do you think of um, Frankie and Betty, specifically the one in TCO, not specifically the one in Wembley? If you've been to any others, let us know as well. We won't read them. And <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. that's and, but, uh, but no, if you have any uh, suggestions, let us know. We'll consider them. And um, 
We'll see you. Get that full catch you on the fry side. What? There, there was a catchphrase. The fry side. There was a catchphrase. I can't remember what it was. I, I like catch you on the fry side. Catch you on the fry side. Catch you on the fry side. We'll have, we'll have a different catchphrase every time. Oh, get that fork Rock. and trademark. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's how. Yeah, that's how it works. Oh, um, <laughs> we didn't just pay any money. We just said trademark, and it's yeah, yeah. Now, catch you on the fry side. Um, yeah. Dip that fork into some some nice digestible podcasts and put it in your mouth. Mm, and I'm digesting this one right mm. now. Mm. This one's going to sit with me all night. Mm. I might need to go to the toilet. The Bacon the was very really crispy as well. We're going to leave you on that. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye.